Hey guys, welcome back to the Keeping Real Ryan podcast. In today's episode, I'm just going to be giving some overview um, and some thoughts on how my Ramadan has gone so far. Um, if you can't tell, I'm just back from Taraweh. And I know I think I have quite a large population or audience that isn't Muslim or may not be familiar with the religion. So I do want to kind of give you guys a little rundown. Maybe you guys know some Muslims in your life that are currently, you know, undergoing Ramadan and maybe you want to, you know, give yourself some knowledge on stuff. So, yeah, so I'm sure you've heard of it. It's basically Ramadan is a month long and basically it's where Muslims fast from sunrise to sunset. Um, It is no drinking and no eating. And... It's generally just to abstain from anything that's immoral or anything bad necessarily. <clears throat> and it's, it's to achieve God consciousness, to be closer to God or Allah. And Taraweh is basically the night prayer uh, after the final prayer, Raisha. It's a prayer especially done in Ramadan. Um, and it's usually performed with many people. Um, and yeah, I'm just back from it now. And I did want to give a little, because I had a few thoughts after um, after praying Tala with that. I just wanted to share with you guys, I guess. Um, do excuse the perhaps exhaustion or lack of uh, length of this, of this pod. But I did want to get this out there. Um I don't know, this is not really going to be, I don't really run with scripts when it comes to these pods, I just kind of go to the top of the dome, I guess, but, yeah, I mean, it's just, like, I got, I got to, uh, like, if I kind of have a tight window, <clears throat> where I'm at, we break our fast at around half six, and... We pray Aisha and then Tala with all at once, all in the same sitting essentially, um, at around 8 o'clock. So I basically have like an hour in between. And I know my fellow Muslim gym junkies are trying to optimize what time they should be working out and all that stuff. Um, I don't know, I feel like you can't really expect to, do, to be working out as well as you would be outside of fasting. But what I've kind of worked with is just going to the gym after breaking my fast, after iftar. And essentially just getting a quick workout in, maybe half an hour of just high intensity. Not many sets, but make sure I'm pushing it to failure. And that's kind of what I've done because I can't really sp- I can't really move more than half an hour because then I'm running the risk of missing prayer and it's not really a good idea. Um kind of defeats the whole purpose of the whole month. But, yeah, I do want to clarify a few things, because a lot of misconceptions. Yes, even water. You can't drink water. Um, What else? Um, I had a funny one. Uh, No, it doesn't last from for 30 days in a row where you can't eat or drink for 30 days. Like, I remember a friend of mine uh, asked about that, and maybe that that was on my behalf, not explaining it right, but... It is, like we eat every day, but just from sunset to sunrise that we just abstain from eating and drinking. Um, but yeah, um, like I said, I just finished praying. Um, and it's just, because we had, there, it's just, it's just, there's a level of, um, it's serenity. Like I remember, I think it was the day before yesterday, was the first day of Ramadan, and the second I got there, the second I said the lock button, I just, I, I, we got into the first Raka of Aisha, because there was a lot of people, there was, the, the mosque was filled, and it was a level of, I, you could feel the angels around us, you could feel how beautiful, how, 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 just how, like, you could just feel it like a, just a wonderful it's just, I don't, there's no adjective better than serenity. Like, it's just peace. You know that you're in congregation at late at night for one purpose, to 
worship God. And it's just, it was just a beautiful, beautiful sentiment. And I really, because I'm a lot closer uh, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this year than I was last year, this time last year. And I could feel it from the very first time I could just feel how close I am. And it genuinely just, it's nice. You know, it's really, it, it, it's nice, the sense of community. I know it may be hard for reverts to get acclimated to the community aspect. I know there was a revert at uh, Drama at the Friday prayer, I think last week, and he, he kind of seemed very lost. Um, and my dad kind of, you know, welcomed him to the different people. So I can get how hard it's for reverts to kind of be welcome into the community and to kind of um, involve themselves or to feel welcome. But yeah, I mean, it, like especially during Tarawih, I think is the best time. You know, you're all united. You know, you're side by side with your brother, or if you're a girl with your sisters, and it's just, it's just wonderful. Like it's just, it's a it's a sense of accomplishment. Like I, I think it's best the best way to approach it. I think when it comes to doing Tarawih, to where you can be more mindful during prayers and have khushu, is to is to basically, there's many ways you can go about it, but what I would say is to really plan out your schedule. You want to be strategic with your Ramadan. You want to block out everything else you're supposed to do early in the day so that when it comes to Tarawih, when it comes to Asia, when it comes to praying at night, you have nothing else really left to do for the rest of the night but pray. You've you've clear, you've done all the work you've had doing the, during the day. You know, you've done the studying. You've, sorry, you've, um, you know, done your to-do list and everything. And once you finish prayer, you can just go to sleep. And that's what I would recommend. Because at that point, you could say, there's no reason for me to be thinking during prayer. Um, and that you can focus with with your uh, connection towards God. Um, or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But, yeah, I know this is a short episode. Um, but I really did want to get this out there. Um yeah, Ramadan is just the best, just the best time of year. You know, is it's it's wonderful. This a sense of community, the brotherhood, or the sisterhood. It's just it's genuinely great, and it's just family time. And I do hope the reverts as well. You know, um, find it you know easy, despite how maybe difficult it could, it may or may not be with um, with maybe perhaps fasting by herself at home or however it is just know we are with you essentially um but yeah that's about it for today's episode i will have i am off for spring break these these next two weeks well this week and next week so i do hope to be more productive with the episodes i'm gonna have a good few for the next few weeks um i do want to plug the youtube uh, it's Ryan Talks, R-A-Y-A-N space T-A-L-K-S. I have to, be, I'm going to be more consistent on that. Um, should be a new video out this week. Um, yeah, I think y'all, I think you guys will enjoy it. Uh, it is a part two of the first video I've uploaded, which is Lunar Whispers part one. It's a short story I wrote, um, I think it was a year ago, and... I think you'll enjoy it if you like if you're into that kind of cinematography and storytelling and all right all right you know check it out but yeah with that being said thank you all for checking out the episode and as always we're keeping it real